What if I told you there's a Bible so powerful, so different, that it was banned? The Ethiopian Bible, a text that's older, richer, and more complete than any other version you've seen. And yet, they tried to erase it. Why? What are they hiding? Stay with us, because this will change how you see history. The Ethiopian Bible is unlike any other. It's not the Bible you know. With over 80 books, yes, 80 it includes texts you've never heard of. Books like Enoch and Jubilees, which were thrown out of the Bibles we grew up with. But Ethiopia held on to them. And that scared people. For centuries, Ethiopia, one of the oldest Christian nations, protected these sacred texts from the outside world. But when European powers came knocking, things changed. The Ethiopian Bible wasn't just a religious book, it became a target. Why? Because it didn't fit the narrative the West wanted to tell. Colonial powers wanted control. They saw the Ethiopian Bible with its unique stories and teachings as a threat. It didn't line up with their version of Christianity. So what did they do? They labeled it illegal. They declared its ancient, holy text dangerous. But why? Let's get real. Banning a Bible isn't just about religion, it's about power. The Ethiopian Bible holds teachings that challenge the Western versions of faith we've been taught. It's got stories that paint a very different picture of angel sin in the apocalypse. They didn't want you to know this. And what happened next? Ethiopia was forced to conform. In the name of modernization, the government declared parts of their own Bible illegal. Imagine that your spiritual heritage being erased because someone else decided it didn't fit. This wasn't just a political move. It was a cultural gut punch. Those lost books, they weren't just stories. They held wisdom, mystery, and deep spiritual insights. Insights that could have changed the way we understand Christianity today. But here's the twist. Today, Ethiopians are fighting to reclaim their roots. There's a revival happening, and it's bringing these forgotten books back into the light. And you know what? The world is paying attention. So why does this matter to you? Because this isn't just about Ethiopia. It's about challenging what you've been told. It's about asking tough questions. Why were these books banned? What secrets do they hold? And what does that mean for your faith? Let's face it, this isn't just about history. It's about control. The knowledge is power and those in charge knew that all too well. The banning of the Ethiopian Bible is a reminder that truth can be hidden, but not forever. The Ethiopian Bible is still here and its story isn't over. As more people dig into these lost texts, the question is, what will we uncover? And how will it change the way we see our own beliefs? So are you ready to dig deeper? To question the stories you've been told? Because the Ethiopian Bible has something to say and it might just blow your mind.